a very interesting topic. You and I discussed the last dance yesterday, and you know, one of the things we brought up was Michael Jordan being poisoned before his uh, his quote unquote flu game. Right now, it seemed a little strange, odd, and we just talked it up to being a different time, you know, different time period, whatever. Dan Wetzel um, found this. It was twelve eighty. The zone is the uh, is the interview. He said, former assistant manager at a Utah Pizza Hut says he didn't poison MJ during 98 finals. He made and delivered large thin crust pepperoni himself, was a big Chicago fan, named his son after Michael Jordan, had money on the Bulls. The poisoning story, he said, is, quote, a bunch of crap. Now, is it out of the realm of possibility that Michael Jordan maybe just had a few too uh, many, you know, Miller Lights? and a few too many cigars running late, late into that night and had his his team of dudes trained up on how to react to this story. Like, oh, yeah, he got poisoned. Oh, this was crazy. We knew what was up. What, what, which side would you lean on this? I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. I think this guy saying he's the guy that made the pizza is going to be one of 92 people coming out of the woodworks to say, I'm the guy that made the pizza. Yeah. Okay. You you might be right about that. It could be any number of people. Um, I think it's just... I'm going to need to see a call log and a receipt before I believe anybody saying they're the person that made the pizza, all right? We sent, what, like seven people in to kill Bin Laden, and at some point in time, all seven of them were like, I'm the one that shot him. Uh, well, it, and these it, are the most honorable people It's probably 20 people planet, by now. Yeah. Okay? These are the most noble and honorable men that we have in our country to offer and they all lied yeah. except one. All right. All of them. <laughs> so what do I think about some rando pizza dude from Utah? All right. Uh, I think okay. he's trying to sell pies. That's what I think he's trying to do. It's a I think he's going to be a bunch of other pizza guys coming out of the woodwork saying I'm the one that sold it and I did poison it. <laughs> Booyah is a long time ago. Statue of limitations is over and all the Utah jazz fans are going to be like, we're going to that guy's store for the rest of our life. Uh, let's see. So uh, let's let's jump into these comments here. Michael, uh, jumping back on that last topic, said, I agree, Chris. I'm saying for the casual fan that might tune in on Saturday night, who sees a top 10 matchup? Yeah, I can understand that side of it, but it, overall ratings are dictated by who has the bigger fan base. That's the way it goes. Um, but yes, I, I, top 10 matchup? Yeah. Obviously, you want to draw still, people in. I still, I still hate all the preseason crap. Uh, McKinnon, terrible. McKinnon said, Auburn could be scary good this year, depending on the defense. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Joseph uh, Gomez said, Gary has got that killer chihuahua at the house. Uh, be careful, Chris. He's, she's an ankle breaker. <laughs> uh, she's sweet to me. I don't have no damn chihuahua, man. It's a fox terrier corgi rescue. Like, and, and, she's, a, and she is sweet as, sweet as hell to me. She, yeah, she She's mean as hell to other people, but she loves Chris. I know. I know. She loves she Chris. She likes me. Joseph Gomez said, I think Isaiah Thomas made the pizza. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas can't make pizza. Yeah, you're right. Matt said, uh, that's like listing on your resume. You were a general manager at Toys R Us. Like, who can anyone call to verify that? Yeah. Like, you can't. Yeah, literally. Like, um, okay. Damien said, who cares who Good made job. the damn pizza? Like, I, the reason we're bringing this up is because people are claiming that no, they made the pizza. I, like, so let's let's stop and, and let's do a different part of this. Okay. Do we think it was actually... So, hang on. You that's can that's also the real get, question. I'm not worried about the pizza. You can also get food poisoning without somebody nefariously trying to poison you. It happens every day, by the way. Or or you could just get a, a stomach bug. Yeah. Which but, is I mean, what we've a, been dealing like, with in our house. The for stomach a bug thing is tough because it's it runs through everybody. His entourage is pretty close to him. If he's the only guy that's sick and nobody else in the locker room on the team or any of his 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 security guys ever get sick, that it's tough to say it's a stomach bug because you've all lived with somebody. And rarely does one dude get it and nobody else get it. Okay? Oh, yeah. So, so that's that's my logic behind that. Now, once again, I'm not a doctor. I used to play one when I was little, but that's different. Um, I, I I just think there's a chance that he just ate something bad, and it could have been it, – so It could have been, been on the pizza. Time. Yeah. That's, that's, that's perfectly okay. And it couldn't have been poison. It could have been fine. He, he obviously was sick with something, and it also could have been a hangover. But I'm going to tell you this. The reason I don't think it's a hangover is flat out that man historically drank and partied his ass off 
before games. I mean, we, we, we even went through on one of the episodes where he played like 36 holes of golf in one day and drank the entire day and then went and played a game that night. And scored like 40 points. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. So, so it's just one of those things where I hangover tough because he was never known for a hard liquor kind of guy. No, he was there's beer. not enough Miller lights. If you're a regular drinker, there's not enough light beers that you can drink to get that drunk. No, you're you, right. You just, you'll get sick from just too many, too much stuff in your stomach. Oh yeah. yeah. You just, you just can't drink that much, especially as great a shape that he was in. His body, his metabolism is just firing like a like a piston, man. Uh, Michael said, it's hard to question athletes' injuries, but I do think that sometimes they may over-exaggerate to make the performance look better or blame it for the poor play. Uh, uh, today, I question all of them. I mean, do we yeah. remember LeBron James being carried, carried off of the, off of the court? Well, Paul and, Pierce, and too. Went, like, the well, Paul, Paul Pierce, Pierce thing ended himself. up... <laughs> yeah, he shit his pants. Paul <laughs> Pierce couldn't walk. Because he'd had shit going down his leg. That's different. Let me ask you this. How low on the totem pole do you have to be of a player, a teammate of Paul? How big of a star does that other guy have to be for him to be like, hey, man, I just shit myself and I can't walk to the locker room. Can y'all grab my legs no, and to- carry Hey, me? Tony Allen was the one that carried him. Tony Allen was one of the guys, and he said but, he didn't know that he, Paul told uh, he him he was know hurt. he shit himself. Yeah, he told him that he was hurt, and... And then they carry him back to the locker room, and then Tony all of a sudden, Allen must not have had kids by then, because you you, oh. you hold somebody for two seconds who shit themselves, and you instantly know Did you shit yourself. <laughs> Probably, no, I don't think he did back then. <laughs> he got little ones, man. He's you know how it is. Oh, his kids are pretty little. Yeah, right his, now, his so kids are young. He didn't have kids, baby. Okay, Sorry. all right, he gets a pass. But that's you. I mean, you, you got to tell your friends if they're carrying you. Hey, man, be careful. I shit myself. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. I think that's fair. Ben you said, got it. Listen, we're yeah. going to keep this between us, <laughs> but I, but I need myself. you to know that's just courtesy. And then it's going to make me look good when I come back out, and we ain't going to tell anybody about it. Now, they did yeah. tell about it. But now it, LeBron, like, he got that cramp, and, I mean, it looked like he died. Oh, I yeah. Mean, he, he looked like he died. Oh, 100%. But, he, I mean, he's been doing that his entire career. Uh, let's see. Ben said the pizza was poisoned. Uh, he said they could just suck at making pizza. Yeah. Matt said. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a, yeah. I've, I've come to my life in conspiracy theories that if you can blame it on incompetence more than evil, it it probably is that. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because there aren't as many mastermind geniuses out there that that are nefariously going around and doing things that are terrible. Okay, <laughs> usually it's if it can be blamed on incompetence, that's the reason. These these YouTube comments are just killers right now. Uh, Matt said it was COVID-19. Ben said, did they get the pizza from Domino's? Uh, <laughs> Damien said, maybe Jordan's ex-wife hired someone to poison him. And that's entirely possible. Matt no, said... she needed that meal ticket, baby. Oh, you got that right. No, uh, you, don't, you don't kill the golden goose. Uh, Damien, no. Uh, uh, Matt said, it's not like that little Caesars pizza we used to get back in the day. Uh, ben said, there was a murder hornet in the crust. <laughs> and then Damien said, damn, Papa John. <laughs> For everybody that wasn't paying attention at the very beginning, it was a Pizza Hut pizza. That's what it was. But even still, was it a Pizza Hut? Do we know that? Yeah, it was. It was Pizza Hut. Yeah. So they said that it was Pizza Hut. I don't remember. The no, no, they, they didn't say the place on the show because obviously that's disparagement, and you can get in trouble for that, uh, especially if there's no proof that it was true or not. But I mean, that that would have it's something like that coming on that documentary. I mean, stock for Pizza Hut would have dropped almost immediately. Like, I mean, it's just ridiculous. But hang on. So how do we know it was Pizza Hut? Uh, because it, the, the Pizza Hut was the one that was open near the, the hotel that night. We know that? We know that that was the only place? Yeah, yeah. They, they've they gone through and, like, actually, there's people that have done research on this and whatnot. And the guy okay. that called in said that he was the manager at the Pizza Hut and he made it himself. All so, right. you know. Um, then, yeah, I don't I don't believe that guy. That guy, he, he was a manager 20-something years ago, and he remembers that. I'm sorry. 1998, he remembers managing, or 90, was that 96? 98. 97? 90, 98. No, 90. No, that was 97. 97. Yeah, 97. Yeah, it was, so, that was five. 23 years ago. Well, I mean, I he, guess if you got to make a pizza for Michael Jordan one time, like, you'd probably remember that, especially if you're a gigantic Jordan fan. So, I mean, who knows? Like, he's gone on and done, like, multiple radio interviews. Uh, I'm sure he has. <laughs> Matt said it was a Papa John's pizza in a Pizza Hut box delivered by Domino's driver. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. You guys are killing it today. Uh, he asked, uh, Michael asked, did they have stuff crust back then? Uh, who knows? Pro- I mean, if, if they did, that's probably what happened. Um, ben said, who would invest in Pizza Hut? Uh, that's a good question. Probably somebody uh, looking to make I some I mean, money. lots of people, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, you say who would invest in Papa John's? Paid Manny's made a buttload of money. And that's Shaquille O'Neal's made a yeah. fortune off that shit. Uh, let's see. Joseph said that Super Supreme did not have peppers back in the day. And then Damien said Chuck E. Cheese poisoned MJ. <laughs> Y'all are just destroying everything today, I swear. Uh, all right, let's dive oh, off of that 15 one. 15 minutes, I'm out. Yep, I know. Let's uh, let's dive off of that. Let's jump into 